Of course, this pool is a prism. And of course, this is a volume question. And every prism volume is always area of base times height. Now, a great many of you remembered that base is the shape that repeats. This shape occurs on the front where you can see it and at the back. So that's the base. And that shape is a rectangle that is 1 by 15 and a triangle that is 7 by 15. 7 by 15 divided by 2, because it's a triangle, is 152.5. And 1 times 15 is 15 to get... 67.5 which you then multiply by 6 because the height is of course the direction that the base repeats to get 405 but of course I am not filling the pool to the brim you have all seen pools there is a lip on them so we are multiplying that by 0.85 because that's 85%, to get 344.25 meters cubed. How long? Well, if it's 1.8 meters cubed per hour, I must need to divide that by 1.8. And I get 191.25 which if you then wish to change into days, of course you can. Is everybody okay to there? Excellent. Now this next one caused, causes a bunch of grief. Let's hear some answers. How many liters? Pardon me? 34, 34 liters. Okay. What else? Preston. 344.25 liters. Suhani. 72 liters. Are we happy? Nobody else wishes to give a guess? No one? Okay. This bottle is one liter. Will 34 of them fill a pool? I drink three of these a day. Can I fill a pool? No. So is 34 a good answer? No. Now, a great many of you did math to find 34, didn't you? Is that a sensible answer? You all know what a liter looks like. If you don't, then think of big pop bottles. They're two liters, which would mean 17 big Coke bottles would fill an entire pool. Do they? Excellent. So, let's have a look at 344. What do you think? 344 of these to fill an entire pool? Still not good enough, is it? So, obviously we have an issue with our ability to take numbers and transfer them to the real world, yes? So let's talk, shall we? One liter is 1,000 centimeters cubed. I have 344.25 meters cubed, right? To answer question B, I need centimeters cubed, do I not? So I must need to do a conversion, yes? What I want is centimeters cubed. What I've got is meters cubed, yes? What is one meter cubed in centimeters cubed? 1,000? A hundred? It's one million. Why? I've already drawn this for you many times. If that is one meter, and that is one meter, and that is one meter, how many meters cubed is that cube I just drew? This is not a trick question. One meter cubed, right? 
Okay. If that is one meter, how many centimeters is it? 100. If that is one meter, how many centimeters is it? 100. If that is one meter, how many centimeters is it? 100. Therefore, how many cubic centimeters is that? 100 by 100 by 100, which is 1 million cubic centimeters. If you didn't get that joke, you need to see Austin Powers. 1 million cubic centimeters. Where's the one? It's on the bottom, yes? So I got to multiply by a million, right? So 1 million means I moved the decimal place how many spots? How many spots did the decimal point move? Six. One, two, what goes in the holes? Three, four, five, six. Agreed? That is how many centimeters cubed I have, yes? But I do not want centimeters cubed, do I? I want liters. So I must convert again. I want liters. I have centimeters cubed. One liter, one, equals 1,000 centimeters cubed. Is this a multiplier or divide? divide? Divide. Three zeros. What happens to these three zeros? Cancel out. 344,250 liters. Now, if you don't have that, where did you make your mistake? Because I'd like to think it's not in conversions. I would like to think it's because you, one meter is 100 centimeters. But we've talked about that, haven't we? I can go back in the videos and find out where I mentioned this in the past. Every measurement you make must be converted, yes? So if I'm dealing with a straight line, me to McKenna, how many, and I, that's in meters, and I want to convert it to feet, I got to make a conversion for that, don't I? Right? But if I want to go up to the ceiling, I got to convert one measurement, two measurements to get the square, right? If I want to go back to the fridge, one conversion, two conversions, three conversions. Got it? Could we do a fourth conversion? No, because there isn't four dimensions. Well, you can argue. Physicists say there's like 27, but who needs those guys? Everybody cool? It would make it really hard to go see a movie. Imagine how much you'd have to pay. 3D movies are already too expensive. What if it was a 27D movie? It would be like $3,000. <laughs> All right. Carry on. I know. So carry on. Fortunately, with my degree, I learned how to tell time. Then they gave us these digital ones to really help us out. But sometimes I'm so badass, Jasleen, I'll look up at that analog one and tell time that way. I know, right? It's like I'm Sherlock Holmes or something. <laughs>